Great science and fun. We've got Sarah in house this morning from the Imagination Station, and we're going to be experimenting with peeps. Are yes. these the leftover peeps from Easter? They are. I may I have figure. actually saved them just for this. Perfect. All right. <laughs> so today we're actually going to talk about air pressure which I know that you are familiar with, well, right? Atmospheric barometric pressure, yep. very familiar with it. Basically, it's the nuts and bolts of weather. Exactly. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to use this vacuum chamber to decrease atmospheric pressure. Okay. Okay, so we're going to see how some different things react in there. So right now, my um, jar is actually filled with all of these little balloons, and these balloons represent like one single pocket of air. Okay. All right. One little molecule or single little thing of air. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to turn on this pump and what it's going to do is draw out that atmospheric pressure. Okay. Okay. So it's going to decrease the pressure that's pushing on the outsides of all of those okay. balloons. All right. So as that happens, you can see something's starting to happen mm -hmm. in there. So, so we've got all of those balloons are starting to actually expand and grow because they don't have that pressure kind of keeping them in their original size and shape pretty cool. You let this go long enough, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> We're going to get some balloons that are going to start to pop possibly. So it's amazing how big they're actually getting inside, but what I'm going to let you do is let all of the air go rushing back in. So you're actually just going to grab okay. this little white piece right here. You're going to pull that straight out. So we're going to essentially restore standard atmospheric pressure. Exactly. Okay. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. All right. all right, so you can see that all of those balloons kind of went tumbling around inside because as we let all of that pressure or all of that air come rushing back in, it kind of bombards all of those individual air molecules. All right, so we don't need that anymore. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of these. Now, I know that you are excited to use those peeps, right? So go ahead and put your beaker of peeps inside. Is that a scientific term? <laughs> yes. A beaker of a peeps? Beaker, beaker of peeps. It's a very big measurement. Um, but each one of our peeps is actually like thousands of those air pockets kind of squished together with some sugar to make a marshmallow. You take a bite out of a peep. It's, <laughs> it's a little soft, a little yeah. chewy. You can kind of feel those air pockets. Yeah. So now we're going to see what happens to thousands and thousands of those air pockets when we decrease that atmospheric pressure okay. again. All right. So again, we're going to let that pressure be drawn Ooh. out of the bell jar. We're not wasting any time with the peeps. Nope. Now you can see these guys are getting really big and if you look close you can see their sugar is kind of starting to crack and break apart because all those individual pockets of air are expanding so much that we're actually stretching the membranes kind of to their maximum capacity. So it looks pretty cool. Now do you want to let the air rush back into these? Can we let it go just a little bit sure, longer? Sure, yeah, how, we can how, let it go. How, if you push the limit on this one, that's how, a good question. How big will it go? Because a balloon has kind of a you know a fixed amount of material right. it can work with. I would think a peep. They, I mean, these things can get pretty big. That's actually um, a really good thing to bring up because peeps are kind of in the same balloon boat where they kind of have a fixed membrane inside. So eventually, these are going to expand so much that those membranes are going to okay. start to pop, and we might actually see them oh. shrink a little bit inside the I jar. I get you. All right. Okay. They're, they're not. They're not made out of super strength stuff. Nope. It is so a go ahead. Okay. We ready Pull to do this on one? Them. Okay. Whoa. Now. Poor peeps. <laughs> they don't look as delicious anymore. So I'm going to take the jar off. And oh. now you can see they're kind of sad looking, right? <laughs> they're all kind of like shriveled and wrinkled. That's because we expanded those pockets or those membranes so much that we actually popped some of them in the process. Okay. They as have, you warned me, yeah. would probably happen. They don't have quite the same elasticity <laughs> as our balloon did. So that's like thousands of air pockets, right? And that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. So what if we put millions and millions and millions of air pockets in there? All right. So we're actually going to put some shaving cream in there. Uh-oh. All right. Now, based on our previous two experiments, what would be your hypothesis about removing atmospheric pressure, again, that 14.7 pounds per square inch, out of our bell jar? We're going to see this expand really quickly. Okay. Well, let's go for it. All right. So this it is looks what, like ice cream. It does look I'm like ice hungry. cream. Now, just like our peeps, this is going to go and grow a tremendous amount. So because we have those millions and millions of air pockets, just like our peeps, they're going to be able to grow and get really, really, really big. 
That's about the size of a small ice cream cone at Mr. Freeze. <laughs> so this is gonna, and uh, this is again, it, it's the structure of the air pockets mm -hmm. that are within whatever substance we're using. If right. it was a balloon or the peeps, or uh, in this case, it's the shaving cream. Exactly. Right. So um, we'll let that hang out in there for a second. While this is hanging out, yeah. what's going on at the Imagination Station? We actually have Green Science coming up next week. So that'll be the 21st through the 26th. You can come down and learn how to reduce, reuse, and recycle. We'll be doing some things with gardening and teaching our guests all about green science. The dinosaurs are gone. They are. They've left the building. They've left the building, <laughs> so the dinosaurs are out. Now, hypothetically, if we let this go for like another five or ten minutes, would it, how big would it get with this? We could probably actually fill it almost to the top of the jar. Really? Yeah. And by how much are you estimating that we reduce the pressure within uh, here? Um, how, by a, by a fraction at least? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. We're pulling it out to uh, drastically decrease it. And if, we, and if we pull this out? Yeah, do you want to pull the plug on this one? We'll pull the plug on All right, the segment let's let too. it be bombarded. One, two, three. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. So now we have... A mess. We have a mess. And all of our <laughs> shaving cream, we've expanded most of those pockets of air past their prime and we just have a gross mess. All right, Sarah, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate that. Stay with us. More WT11 Your Day coming up right after this.